Hey, what's going on? Um, I recently posted a pretty wide uh, visual to the AudioBus forum. Uh, it was regarding multi-out and midi-out inside of Drambo, inside of AUM. And what I thought I would do is just put together a quick uh, overview video to talk about that. So if you go to the AudioBus forum, you can actually see the post um, um, that I made. Uh, but let's go ahead and actually walk through that in AUM. Um, so let's go ahead and just quick create three instances here uh, just to demonstrate um, the functionality that I was talking about in the illustration. So we're going to select uh, Drambo 8 outs and what that gives us is the ability of doing uh, multiple audio outs from inside of Drambo to AUM. So what we're going to do is go ahead and pick, I'm only going to pick two just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on and then I'm going to add a couple more channels here. Uh, this is going to be to support our MIDI out channels. So if we look inside of Drambo, um, we see that we have eight uh, multi-out channels available to us. And then what I did is I added them um, inside of AUM. Uh, let me just delete those and walk you back through that. Um, so tapping on the plus, hit the multibus audio unit instance. Just pick Drambo and just pick Drambo. Uh, if you, you notice the number two and number three here, these are actually the outs uh, that are being routed. Uh, Multi-channel uh, one is actually this particular channel here. Um, so you can add whatever type of effects you want to that channel to affect channel one. Add whatever effects you want here to affect channel two. Let's just put a little uh, dub station. And whatever you want here for channel three. Um, let's, uh, let's do Saturn. Go pick something crazy, crazy. Dreamscape. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's go inside of Drambo and load up a couple instruments. Thanks, Giku, for uh, including a whole bunch of new, really cool uh, instrument sounds. Um, I don't know what these are. Let's see. I like this resonant noise pad. That sounds fun. Okay, and let's go pick one last one. Super saw. Alright, so what's happening here is that channel one is here. Let's add an effect to channel one. Let's do crazy cosmonaut. Cool. So let's go back here. So this is channel one that um, Cosmonaut is affecting. This is channel two the dub station is affecting. And this is channel three that Saturn is affecting. All right, so that's cool. That's the multi-out effect. Now let's say that you wanted to control some MIDI instruments. Uh, how do you do that? Well, just go over here, add and add a track. Okay. And now on this track, what we want to do is go and add a MIDI output. And what we're going to do is MIDI out channel one. And we're going to go pick one of my favorite synths. And we're going to set that to channel one being fed by Drambo and Spider Ice Midas. Awesome, awesome patches from him. Now, if everything is set up correctly, if I play this, we should hear continue. All right, so basically what's happening here, channels one through eight are dedicated to audio 
out from Drambo. So whatever instrument sampler you want to load into Drambo, you can route those independently inside of AUM, apply whatever effects you want to them, and just have a great time. Uh, by adding additional tracks here, you can now leverage a single instance of Drambo to basically sequence multiple instruments either inside of um, AUM or, let's go ahead and pick MIDI out, pick channel 2. You're not going to be able to hear this, but if I go over here to the MIDI routing, you'll see that I have my circuit um, connected. So AUM sees that, so what I need to do is I need to point Drambo to the circuit. And this is going to sound really cheesy, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn up the volume on the circuit and bring my mic close. And now if everything is going right, we should hear synth 2. And just to prove that it's working, I'll change the instrument sound. So um, that's basically what you do to route things around. Um, so you can use MIDI to route inside of AUM. Or you can use it to route uh, MIDI to external devices that AUM can actually see. Um, as a bonus, um, one of the cool things that you can also do is you can actually use external MIDI controllers to um, drive Drambo. So what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and select my launch key mini to drive Drambo. And if I go over here, um, one of the cool things is that MIDI Learn is now available. So what I want to do is I want to actually pick my individual instruments so I can play them on my keyboard. So that's one, that's two, three, four, and let's go ahead and pick eight over here. And all right, so now what should happen if I pick instrument one, two. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the uh, launch key mini to basically pick my instruments. So that's a quick way to kind of use a hardware controller to control Drambo to take advantage of multi-out and midi-out. Well, uh, that's basically what I wanted to show you. And again, uh, what I was walking you through here was the post that I made on the AudioBus forum, which kind of, you know, it does the same thing or it explains the same thing, but it's more of just a, a single static visual. So I thought it'd be nice to put together a quick uh, overview video. Well, I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching as always. And if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments. Take care.